good evening viewers welcome to the finals of the atp chennai open challenger 100 tennis championship being held at the sdat tennis stadium nogambakam chennai today we'll be witnessing the finals between the top seed of the tournament luka nadi and uh, india's uh, sumit nagal who is the second seed in the tournament so both the players have been <coughs> uh, both the players have lived up to the billing of the seeding so yesterday's evening luka nadi took the more difficult route to the final by winning in three sets and uh, sumit nagal won in straight sets so anu you have any points on yesterday's match I think Nadi, good evening Rajesh, it was nice uh, uh, doing the commentary with you yesterday. Nadi won by the skin of his teeth or should we say by the skin, I mean you know by the luck of that uh, net cord in the uh, tiebreaker. It was an uh, exciting match uh, to watch. Sumit of course closed it out in uh, straight sets. Uh, today there is a much bigger audience for the finals, uh, obviously wanting to root for India's player who's been doing well, Nagal especially with his Australian Open uh, main draw. Uh, he lost in the second round but beat Bublik so we're excited to see if he can you know show his talent here and make the top seed and uh, beat the top seed today. Yes, uh, yesterday was a real close match for uh, Luca. Match point down and got lucky with the net card. Uh, lucky to be here in the finals and uh, today's chair umpire is Ayala Poncho and uh, it will be a best of three sets uh, and this tournament is uh, being held here held at the Nongambakam Stadium the winner takes home uh, roughly around 15 lakhs of prize money and 100 uh, singles ranking points the runner up uh, takes home about uh, close to 9 lakhs and uh, 60 ATP points. Uh, the winner of this match will probably enter the top 100 uh, of the ATP ranking. I think and then probably they'll, uh, they'll get easier opportunities to get into the Grand Slams. And also uh, it will be interesting to see I think uh, Rajesh uh, Nagal had a little bit of niggle on his shoulder. Uh, be interesting to see how he serves the first couple of games and if it's bothering him if there's any discomfort and uh, Nadi also with the three sets although he played the later match um, we'll have to see if he's a little bit fatigued out uh, with his movement yeah yesterday was a pretty hot day and uh, today it's uh, evening around 5, 5, 5 o'clock in the evening and it's cooler actually Good sprinkling of uh, crowd uh, around the stadium today to witness uh, an Indian playing the finals of this tournament. The Chennai crowd always very appreciative of any sport being held. As we had mentioned yesterday, the stadium has hosted several um, international events, especially with the, uh, the most recent was the WTA Challenger, which was very exciting to see young women from across the world participate yeah last year i think we had that was a major event in chennai and uh, uh, it was a pretty much uh, big event what's your prediction for today's match you know? well yesterday i thought nadi i still am uh, favoring nadi because he looks uh, he always comes with a clear game plan but uh, you know Seng was right behind his tail with patience but uh, Nadi kept at it. I think he has a little bit more power and uh, uh, over Nagal and a little more variety as well and doesn't hesitate to come to the net. Uh, Nagal is solid from the baseline, improved his fitness but uh, I think Nadi will try and pull Nagal to the net. Let's see how that goes but I'm thinking a, probably a straight set win for Nadi. Yeah, no, <coughs> what we said was uh, absolutely true and uh, but you never know but Nagal is a real fighter to the end. So it's a 
slight edge to the Italian, but I think uh, the Indian will not give in easily. Yeah, let's hope we're in for a good quality match where both give it their all and dig deep to try and win this title. And what better glory than to get into main draw, main draw, the main draw of uh, the various Grand Slams, and breaking into the top hundred is, especially for any Indian, uh, great goal, dream to come true. Actually, yeah, a little bit of uh, data about the about the players. Uh, Sumit Nagal is uh, 26 years of age, uh, uh, residence from New Delhi. Turned pro in 2015 and uh, the highest ranking is uh, 121 on the ATP ladder and his current ranking is also 121. So he is on a high at the moment and uh, after this tournament probably he will be in case he wins he will be probably into the top 100. And Luca Nadi uh, is from Italy and his highest ranking was uh, 115 in November 2023. His current ranking as of Jan 2024 is 117. So both of them seeing their hard work uh, you know, come into play here and if they can get into the top 100 it would be great. Yeah, play is underway and uh, Sumit Nagal to serve that's a nice forehand from Nagal always we saw that in the semi-finals as well he generates a lot of winners from that side and there's a lot of depth and clearance he prepares well 15 love first game Nadi pulling uh, Nagal wide on the forehand there, a little bit slow on that footwork, but a nice long rally, 15 all. Ball going long and, and Nagal is up 30-15. I think the uh, chair player called it uh, in and made a correction so I think it's still 15 all. So they'll replay the point. Chair Empire requesting for the spectators to take their seats quickly.
Nicely done, great Rajesh by Nagar. Both. Yeah, good. <coughs> both <coughs> flanks. Now also the backhand as well. Good punishing rally, and forcing an error from Nadi's backhand. He's moving him around quite nicely, actually. Let's up. And we see uh, Somdev in the coach's box by the side, uh, guiding Nagal through this tournament. Nice serve again. Nice kick serve, right? Out yeah, slowed slow down the pace a bit and uh, made Nadi mistime the ball. 40 15. Again, nice start by Nagal being now uh, aggressive on the uh, forehand side. Yeah, pretty aggressive, trying to get to the net and uh, forcing an error from Nadi. Nagal leads one game to love. Another mistime ball by Nadi, love 15. Is it just the sweat and humidity or the pace in which Nagal has started off the... I think uh, Nadi is probably a little nervous and starting slowly. Not hitting as cleanly as he was hitting yesterday. Please sit down quickly, the players are waiting. Uh, what a, a brilliant quality there. Even though it was really low, Rajesh picked it up nicely. Yeah, really good technique uh, from Nadi to stay with that ball. Nagal didn't give uh, him an easy point, but uh, Nadi up to the mark on that volley. 15 all in the second game of the opening set. Another error from uh, Nadi's backhand. 15.30. You're right Rajesh, I think he's just taking a little more time to settle in. If you see that backhand was a little rushed. The nerves, need, he just needs to soak in the atmosphere and calm his nerves a little bit. Keep moving around and 
work his way through this game. Nice low serve from Nadi to the forehand. Just uh, for getting a getting an error from Nagal's return of serve. I think both of them are uh, really playing with the pace a bit, slowing it down and mixing it up. Oh, nice short selection there. Nagal was moving more towards the backhand side. He found the gap on the forehand side of the court. 30-15 to Nadi. He waited well and saw where Nagal was moving and chose the shot wisely. Oh, what a pounce <laughs> for him. Brilliant return of serve from uh, Nagal just stepped in and went for it. I think Nadi tried the same trick. He liked the last serve on his forehand but Nagal saw it and just stepped in on the return. Mistiming the smash there. I think he rushed into it a little bit. Didn't have to actually just look more at placing the ball since he's a little nervous than hitting it. And it went really long. And he's facing a break point now. Keeping it tight over there and uh, just keeping the ball in play and pushing Nagal deeper into the court and approaching and forcing that error from Nagal's backside, back end. Nadi always kind of sneaks up to the net when he finds that right approach, which is nice. Oh, that was a lovely forehand. Lot of punch in it. Good return from Nagal right at the uh, center of the court. And uh, Nadi couldn't uh, move out of the way. So the next ball was pretty short and Nagal had the time to go inside out on the forehand. Nicely done there, Nadi hitting the ball a little too short. Nagal watching it for the pass. And uh, Nagal, is, Nagal is up to game to laugh for a sec. Good break, Anu, at the beginning of the match. Ready. Nadi under pressure to now play better. Nice to see some more crowd trickling in. A decent crowd today for the match and looks like more people will come in as time goes. Now to serve. Fifteen love. Nagal's body language so far, very, very upbeat, positive. I know if you see Nagal's serving position, He's probably serving uh, like a doubles player a little away from the center. I think probably he's targeting uh, Nadi's uh, backhand on the 
ऐड कोड there's another so to the back end looks like it yeah. looks like uh, nagal has come out with a well thought out plan and adi struggling to read his game right now okay nagal another error from nadi uh, nagal quickly up to 3-0 Nadi to serve love three in the first set. Nagal playing some really brilliant tennis, uh, especially using his forehand to his strength to dominate the points and hit a lot of winners from. He's hit a lot of winners from that side. Holding on the long rallies as well, being patient to find the Love shot to go for the winner. Lot of errors from Adi's back end, and uh, <coughs> most of the ball is going into the net. You know. Not having as much clearance over the net as he was doing yesterday. Do you think it has to do with his footwork? Maybe a little slower. Maybe fatigue, probably a little nervous to start with. That's the first uh, miss hit that we've seen from Sumit. Fifteen all. Crucial for Nadi to hold this game because otherwise it'll be two two breaks down. Yeah, and the confidence just keeps going up for Sumit, and then. So does the penetration of the shots, especially the forehand. Point. The first is now the chair uh, overrules the serve. Second serve to Nadi. Nagal's forehand is really working hard. I think uh, he's uh, probably created a weapon in the off-season. Really hitting that forehand with a lot of punch. And uh, Nadi is not able to find, figure out a way to come to the net, which he normally tries to do, because Nagal is keeping the ball so deep and moving him around. Fifteen thirty. Sensible overhead from Nadi this time. Didn't try to hit it too hard. Very all. Sometimes Rajesh, that's all you need. Not go for that too much. Especially since he's trying to find his footing and he's not comfortable with his strokes yet. Good serve from Nadi out wide, forcing an error from Nagal's forehand. Forty thirty. Forty thirty. 
Rajesh, what do you think about their uh, practice session? Would they have finished it up in the morning and then relaxed? I think Nadi would, was practicing around uh, 1 p.m. today afternoon. Oh, nice and hot. <laughs> Another error from Nagal giving the first game to Nadi. Nagal leads three games to one. Up a break in the first set. So in the morning, they probably also combine their fitness and drills uh, with on-court practice. I'm sure they must have then... <laughs> Normally during tournaments, I know it's more of... Uh, stretching and using the bands to loosen your muscles and then hit a lot of balls. They don't train as they train in the off-season. And of course the recovery with the physio also. And <coughs> after uh, yesterday's long match, I think Nadi would have spent a long time in the physio stable. Nagal serving 3-1. Nadi trying to be a little more aggressive, stepping inside the lines to force an error there. Nagal's errors, unforced errors on the backhand side is slowly creeping up. A lot of uh, shots into the net the last couple of points. The mistimed error from Nadi's backhand. 15 all. 15. Rajesh, Nadi's backhand was, I mean, just not, I mean, it was so good in the semi final. He didn't have so many miss hits actually. So he'll have to rethink about how to get that rhythm going there. Probably not getting as much pace uh, as he was getting from yesterday's match. Backhand going long, 15.30. Again, the whole mind thing. When you're up, it's a different strategy. You shouldn't relax too much, but you got to stay on top of it. It's always a balancing act. Yeah, the, <coughs> the mind uh, keeps wavering up and down and uh, you need to really stay in the match. Need to control it. What? Nice uh, dry volley from Nagar. Just stepped in on that. Kept na moving Nadi across the court and uh, really didn't hit the ball too hard but placed it beautifully. His inside out forehands are really good uh, and he's able to hit those forehands just about place it so well with power to almost any corner of the court. 30 all. The error from Nadi's backhand. Nagal making sure that uh, he doesn't feed any balls to his, uh, Nadi's forehand, I think. He's uh, got a very clear strategy. Yes, and uh, looks like 
Nadi would have done his homework too. I'm yet to see what he wants to do to sort of make it a level playing field and his plans on I think he should also try and attack a little bit of Nagal's backhand side. But I think that gets difficult because Nagal covers his forehand so much and moves really well. Error from uh, Nagal, Nadi staying the point even though he was always on the defence. Nagal had the opportunity to just move in a bit and uh, approach the net, little frustrated with that uh, miss. Did he lose his footing there by any chance or was... No, I think he got a little tight on that forehand. Oh. Deuce. the error from Nagal's back giving uh, Nadi his first uh, break point of the match didn't react quick enough for that backhand Rajesh was jammed and then hit it off his back foot forcing the error into the net Just brilliant forehand from Nagal. Just kept moving Nadi left side and just opened up the court and went for the forehand. And uh, till he releases his follow through Rajesh, it's tough to predict whether he's going to go down the line or hit that reverse cross court. So Nadi sometimes is left guessing to react which way that forehand is going to go and he's really timing it well. Excellent uh, execution of this point, good strategy. And especially when down a break point. Nice uh, approach by Nadi. Good return on the forehand where he pulled uh, Nagal out of the court and then went uh, down the line. Probably set up the point pretty well for him. Break point number two for uh, Nadi. So far Nagal has done a good job of keeping him a back pin to the baseline. And the uh, forehand from Nagal landing inside the court and uh, making uh, Nadi also miss time the ball. Lucky there for uh, Nagal. Deuce again. But Nadi had, yes, it was miss time, but he had enough of time to try anything else but that unforced error. I mean, it's easy to say from up here, but when you're break point. Backhand again going into the net. Probably yesterday's match has taken out a lot from him. That's what I feel. And um, I don't know if Sheng was hitting more flat because Nagal's forehand has a lot more spin on it. 
Uh, also, I'm wondering, Nadi had a lot more backhand slices and variation in yesterday's match. Maybe you could try that a little here. But definitely looking a little tired from the long three-setter which sang yesterday. Game point for uh, Nagar to go for a 4-1 lead. Another mistake. Backhand from uh, Nadi. Nagal holds for a 4 1 lead. Nagal leads 4 games. Nadi to serve 1 4. First set. Poor shot from uh, Nagal. Easy for him to have put the ball in play and then taken the advantage of the poor drop from. Nadi. Rajesh, that was a good hold by Nagal uh, to get to 4 1 because 3 2 means again back on serve and the pressure situation. So nice to see him rough it out there and close out his, I mean, you know, hold his service game. 15 love to Nadi. Beautiful forehand from Nadi now trying to step in and hit the ball harder. I think Nagal is hitting a little more shorter in this game. Probably Very that's nice. giving an advantage to Nadi to step in. 30 love. from uh, Nadi's forehand 30-15 30-15 Nadi I think is trying to do a little too much because he knows that Nagal is now clocking his forehand so well so he wants to you know, push him wide and give him a deep shot on the forehand or he knows it will be punished and put away.
30. 30 all. Nagal seems to be the more uh, aggressive player today, Anu. Definitely. Uh, definitely. Uh, he's uh, he's uh, more energetic also, more confident, more energetic. Nadi, you know, just trying to find his way around in the match. drop shot from uh, Nadi after the long uh, backhand to backhand uh, exchange between both the players. Nagal taking full advantage of that uh, mid court drop. I think Nagal's like a wall and hit baseline so he Nadi was just a little desperate there and that drop shot was just s like sitting up there for Nagal to drive it away for a winner. Nadi again down 30-40 facing a break point. Nagal up 4-1 in the first set. Nadi certainly looking a little fatigued today. Not as energetic as yesterday. The break there for Nagal. Nagal leads five games to one. So far, it's been uh, one-way traffic for uh, Nadi. He's not able to make any breakthroughs there. Nagal leads five games to one. Nadi needs to just refocus and think of how he can, you know. Stay alive in this set. Just like how Seng tried to get his way back uh, yesterday. Good first serve from Nagal. 15 love. Not miss it from that backhand corner. Error from Nagal's forehand, 15 all. 15. Rajesh, what do you think at this point Nadi needs to do to at least give Nagal a message that, hey, I'm in this, or should he just let go of the set and try from? The second set? I mean, just uh, since you're already down, might as well try to get some rhythm into the game and... Uh oh, it's really sloppy. I think probably Nadi is also in the mindset to give the first set. Just not very... Just a little tentative on his ground strokes today. It's a good time to just uh, free up and swing your arms and uh, probably get ready for the second and third set for Nadi. He has to figure out a way to shake out the fatigue and the nerves. And the error from uh, Nadi's backhand gives uh, two set points to Sumit Nagar. Nagal, all credit to him. He's 
just dominated the set that's what uh, winning one round in a grand slam is really going to help you with the confidence Nadi gives up the first set to Nagal and uh, Nagal wins the first set 6-1 in this final of the ATP uh, Challenger 100 tennis at Chennai.
Nadi back on court after losing the set 1-6 uh, to Sumit Nagal. Nagal dominating the first set. Very impressive with his forehand winners and the depth of his shots. Nadi a little more fatigued from maybe yesterday's long run uh, semi finals. Now has to try and go for plan B and figure out how to get this set under his belt. The opening game for him is very important and he must try and hold serve. Nagal has also come back on court. Yes, I know. I think uh, <coughs> Nadi really has to figure out a different strategy to negate uh, Nagal's forehand, which has been really dominant in this match. You got to serve even better to hold the service games. That's much better. More free on the forehand, backhand also, right? Yeah, but Nadi seems to have loosened up a bit in the first point. Let's hope it continues for him to get back into this match. As you say, Rajesh, sometimes you let out that stress by just swinging through it and, you know, just hammering some of the shots and then get your rhythm going again and the confidence. Normally, sometimes it's a relief to lose that uh, set and then start afresh the second set or third set. This time, forehand from uh, Sumit Nagal, I think. Uh, he was distracted by Nadi trying to point out that back end was long. Thirty love to Nadi. Good start, uh, positive start for him this set. I like the um pace in his shots. Let's see if he continues that. Double fall from Nadi. 15-30. Fairly good uh, attendance here uh, for this match. Yeah, nice to see players come and support the finals. The Chennai crowd rather to come and support the finals. Good to see young kids around as well. A lot they can learn from this match. Good uh, punishing forehand and uh, pushing uh, Nagal deeper and deeper into the court. Probably that set up the point for him there. Error from uh, Nagal's backhand. Nadi up 40-15. Beautiful backhand from Nadi setting up that uh, error from Sumit Nagal. For once I think uh, Nadi was in the rally and uh, got the upper hand on that particular rally. It probably will give him a lot of confidence to stay in the second set. Yeah, and just believe that, okay, if I just hang in here, I might have a chance. Seems to be timing the ball better at the beginning of the second set. Uh, 
uh, what role does the coach uh, play at this point of time uh, rajesh with especially for nadi's coach what wonder what strategy he would give him he also can't look like he's nervous but give him the tips to help him elevate his game i think probably the coaches will advise them to stay a little calm uh, stay in the rally not give any free points like how seng yesterday came back after just keeping the ball in play another error from uh, nadi's back end nagal 15 love was it because i think it was too slow a serve he got was caught on a wedge yeah that was probably a serve in the mid court Fifteen all. Beautiful drop from Nagal there. The right shot and uh, really pushed uh, Nadi wide on the forehand and nice deft touch from uh, Nagal Danu. Indeed, nice, nice uh, shot selection there and well disguised, showing that he can have both power and crafty hands on the forehand side. Nice first serve from Nagal. Very nice error from Nadi. Forty fifteen. Crucial for uh, Nagal to just get off uh, to a good start in the set, and probably is doing the right things. Over hitting there again, Adi on the forehand side. One game all in the second set. Actually, that rally, if you noticed, uh, his backhand uh, again was a shank. It was a mistimed shot, but somehow it just landed in, and still. Uh, He's just keeping the ball right in the center of the court, not uh, allowing uh, Adi to. work the angles so probably that's really bothering nadi i serve from nadi 15 love the t serve always proves very effective good start for his service game the double fault there by nadi going to 15 all with nagal returning so well it's important that he nadi works 
on keeping his percentage of her serves high. Out. Thirty fifteen to Nadi. While hitting long on that uh, return of serve. Not serving as fluently as uh, he was doing yesterday, you know. Another double fall from Nadi. 30 all. Just a lot more unforced errors on many fronts. Probably feeling the pressure from Nagal's uh, dominating round strokes. Nice overhead from Nadi. 40 30, staying in the game. Nadi showing that he can hit a few good forehand shots as well. I mean, that it was impressive that Nagal even reached to that ball and popped the overhead. A lot of uh, power in that forehand as well. Which is what he did a lot yesterday. He had a lot more winners. Today, the winners for Nadi has been far and few between. Serving at 40-30. Another error from Nadi's back end. Back to Deuce. critical that he holds this game with confidence. A lot of serves going into the net for Nadi. I think he has to reach up for it. Yeah. Error from uh, Nabal's forehand. Another point to hold Nadi. for uh, Nadi. Nadi. Very slow second serve there and I think uh, Nagal didn't really push for a deeper shot. Again from Nagal, really ripping that down the line. That's uh, probably he should have done that in the previous point Deuce. because I think uh, he had a similar opportunity on the return of serve. But again, back to Deuce. That was just so impressive. Brilliant uh, um, shots on his forehand side. A lot of winners today. Nice four and again from uh, Nagal setting up that uh, error from Nadi. Just seems to have a little bit more energy in the last couple of points, trying to be more aggressive. Yeah, a lot more punch in his shots.
error from uh, Nagal's forehand on break point. Back to Deuce. Deuce. Nadi should move for a into the body serve on the backhand side or to the T. Brilliant forehand from Nadi there. Did uh, the right thing by keeping that first serve in and then setting up that forehand nicely. Game point to Nadi again. He needs to keep thinking like that and, you know, opening up the court and try to play his game not be too controlled by Nagal's forehand dominance nice recovery from Nagal there to stay in the point despite being on the defense Back to Deuce. I mean, Rajesh, that Deuce. was just whisking and <laughs> on the line. Uh, Nadi looking both at, both at the linesman and the chair umpire, and they both clearly confirming it was on the line. No two ways about it. Impressive depth today, also from Nagal's strokes. error from uh, Nadi's backhand going to the net both the players uh, upping the pace a bit in this game and the break point for Nagal to take a solid lead in the second set the error from Nadi giving the break to Nagal. Nagal up 2-1 in the second set. Now to serve 2-1 after we up a break in the second and a 
clearly dominating the proceeding. Just being aggressive from the get-go and just relentless at it. Error from Nagal. Rajesh surely uh, Yesterday's long match showing on his body a little bit slower uh, with his footwork usually does especially on the backhand side Nagal approaching with that uh, punishing forehand and forcing Nadi to hit in the net Nadi's bo body language shows it seems to be a little Maybe the legs are not as uh, free as he was yesterday. Probably it was it's still a little heavy from yesterday's match. Somdev Nagal's coach here happy with the way things are going. Uh, Nadi's coach trying to tell him come on, stay with it. Another error from uh, Nadi. Nagal up 30-15. Quick points uh, seem to be a premium here, uh, no? Both the players <laughs> trying to have quick points on the court. Well, a little unlucky with a net card. 30 all. Nadi still. I think the net card. A uh, lot of uh, situations from yesterday. Missing that uh, approach shot, giving Nagal another big one for three games to one lead. He didn't have to go so much to the line, Rajesh, but maybe uh, just want to make sure that Vinod Vinod Nagal count with the um, ripping forehand return. So he wants to almost close it out early. Forehand from Nagal passing shot down the line, bring him that game. 3 1 up in the second set. This racket preparation and footwork on the forehand is really that uh, he has great racket speed control to almost guide that ball anywhere. Rather, yeah, Nagal in a little bit of a zone at the moment, really hitting those forehands. Yeah, when you, you see the ball like a football as you can't. Beautiful backhand down the line from uh, the ball. Seems to be in complete control of the match uh, right now, Anu. Now he's hitting winners of his backhand as well and uh, it's very impressive the depth of his shots, uh, especially the returns. It puts him at an advantage almost instantly. 
at the start of the rally. Getting longer uh, unforced errors in this match. But I like the clean hitting from Nadi's backhand, Rajesh. That's what's important if he gets his rhythm going again. He can try to hang in here in this set or at least, you know, go neck to neck. Yeah, it's very crucial for him to hold this game. Otherwise, uh, looks uh, too deep for him to come back. 30-15 to Nadi, good first serve on the ball. 30-15. Error from uh, Nagal's forehand, 40-15. Beautiful return from uh, Sumit just uh, stepped in and uh, held the racket firm, getting a nice cross court uh, forehand return in the corner of the court. 40-30. Still game point to Nadi. Nadi needs a good first serve. Brilliant uh, forehand to close out that game by Nadi. Yeah, he didn't rush into it. He found his the opening and then to took his time and hit the clean winner. If you rush into it, then that's when the errors start creeping up. Yeah, Naga leads uh, three games to two. Still up a break in the second. Nagal to serve, uh, three games to two, up a break in the second set, after winning the first set 6-1. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
overcooked uh, forehand from uh, Nadi going wide. 15 loud to Nagal. Nadi getting a lucky, getting a little lucky with the net card again. Smith missing that uh, approach to the net. 15 all. Brilliant return from uh, Nadi there. 1530. I think Nadi needs a little bit of uh, motivation to get back in the match like that forehand. Needs to get one or two good shots to really pump himself up. Small window of opportunity for uh, Nadi here. Overheating that forehand again, Nadi. 30 all. 30 all. Let for serve. It's crucial for Nadi to really break through here or is looking down the barrel. That was a set of overheads for uh, Sumit and he missed it. Break point to Nadi. That's what pressure yeah, does yeah. even when you are leading the match. Beautiful forehand from Nadi getting back into the match with a break here, three all. Beautiful cross court really taking the ball early, stepping into the court, everything right about that shot. 
taking full advantage of the short ball. So even Stevens in the second set, Nadi to serve. Double fall from Nadi, first add to the game. Beautiful drop volley from Nadi there. Did well to pull Nagal out and uh, approach the net. And good skill uh, from uh, Nadi on that volley. Let for serve. Brilliant backhand down the line from Nadi. Nadi starting to really hit those uh, shots. Really? More precision and really clean hitting from him the last two points. 30-15. Oh. Hitting long there, Nadi, 30 all. Smith putting a little more pressure on his backhand, forcing that error from Nadi. Nadi's uh, racket uh, slipping from his hand, probably sweating heavily. Thirty all here. Again, Nadi Nagal Nadi going in for a flying away and Nadi has to regroup on this point down break point oh. 
Four drop from Nadi giving uh, Nagal the break. Nagal leads four games to three. The second set. Nagal leads four games to Sumit Nagal to serve now. Have a break four three. Beautiful over from Nadi there, playing really aggressive on the first point. Love 15. Love. Forehand from uh, Sumit Nagal. I think that forehand has been really dominant today. Nadi looking for a change in racket after uh, the last game where it slipped out of his hand. 15 all here. Nadi left, setting up the error from Sumit uh, Nagar. Probably the racket change might change his fortunes. Brilliant point from uh, both players, setting up two break points uh, for Nadi. 
That is a punishing rally from both players pushing each other to both the corners of the court. Nadio hitting that backhand, giving up one break point. Still, Sumit Nagal facing a break point. 30-40. Getting some advice from his coach, Sumit. from uh, Sumit there giving Nadi the break four games all in the second set four games all. wrong short selection from Sumit there just had to stay in the rally Nadi to serve four all in the second set Error from Nardi. Low 15. Again pushing the ball wide, Nadi and Wally. Easy back and Wally to close out the point. Low 30. Brilliant forehand from Sumit staying the point with that lob. Three break points now to Sumit. Take a 5-4 lead in the second set. And serve out for the championship. Hitting long again Nadi, Sumit up 5-4 to serve for the championship. 
flew of errors from uh, Nadi giving Sumit the break. for Sumit to close out the match and lift the trophy now. Let's see what Nadi can do. Sumit hits wide, low 15, correction from the chair umpire. from Sumit's forehand probably the nerves getting to him closing out a match is not an easy task low 30 Nice forehand from Sumit, drawing the error from Nadi, 15-30. Another error from Sumit, forehand. Probably trying to close out the post quickly. 15, Two break four. points to Nadi to get back here. 15 40. An error from Nadi there. 30 40 still break point up for Nadi.
Error from Nadi there. Back to Deuce. Sumit just two points away from lifting the championship. Deuce. Setting up championship point here. And Sumit wins the tournament. Brilliant uh, performance from Sumit. Indian winning the championship here at Chennai. The ATP 100 Challenger Tournament. Beating Luca Nadi of Italy. 6-1, 6-4. Straight side win for Sumit. Guaranteed to enter the top 100. Sumit uh, being congratulated by his coach. Brilliant performance from Nadi the entire tournament but uh, not able to close out. Sumit has been really dominant with his forehand the entire Single championship here in Chennai.
has gone into the top 100 of the Asian <laughs> My dear friends, what a fantastic tournament and a great win for Sumit Nadal. Congratulations to the two finalists, a fantastic match. It's always hard to pull these events together, and so a great big thank you first and foremost to the government of Tamil Nadu. Thank you very much, sir, Mr. Tulay Mishra, Mr. Meghna Reddy, and of course, around Minister of Sport, Youth Affairs, and an honor for giving us this incredible event to be able to hold annually. To our sponsors, Cora Medal and Indian Bank, grateful thanks. To Kaveri Hospital, represented here by Mr. Sivaran Kanan. And uh, Lankor Holdings, by Mr. Shekhar, CND, who's here. Our partners, ACT Technology, Fiber Net Partner, the Park Hospitality, of course. Chennai Live and Coca-Cola, and the players from all parts of the world who came back to participate. <laughs> A big thank you to our ATP supervisor, Rajorio Santes, referee, Anton D'Souza, the chair of boys, the chief of the officials, ball boys, player and transport services staff, you guys are spectacular as always. Thank you. It's great to see so many of you again. The children and housekeeping staff, most of all, thank you for taking care of this. And a special thank you to, to Nagarajanam, our stadium officer, and the stadium staff. Thank you. To Hitan, Rajin, and the entire ANTA staff, my colleagues at ANKA who do all the hard work to make this event possible and pull it together. Thank you. It is a spectacular setting for a tournament. But ladies and gentlemen, most of all, these events cannot happen unless it's with your support. So thank you to each and every one of you for coming out and being a part of this. And and finally, don't worry, we're still working on the KTP 250 that we hope to bring it up. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Ajay. And now we go to the prize distribution. I request the runner-up of the event, Luca Nadi of Italy.
Luca Nari of Italy. And to the crowd, thank you so much. As our 